do is uh, a kind of an, an older one. Uh, it was made uh, famous by a really, really good judoka and sambo man named uh, Kashibazaki. So we call it the Kashibazaki sweep. This is a ground to standing sort of sweep where I'm on my back and guard and he's trying to pass standing. <clears throat> so we're going to start and we're in this sort of situation where he's moving around. I'm trying to, to control him with my feet. It doesn't really matter how I got here. Kashimuzaki usually got his grips and then just kind of slid right under, trying to Tomonagi, and if that failed, he'd go right into one of his various sweeps. This was one of them. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get a good lapel grip right here, because I'm gonna be able to use that to, to pull and push as I'm finishing the sweep. Next, I'm gonna take this outside leg on the opposite side, and I'm gonna shift in on his hip or his gut. I prefer to, to hit the hip, because if he starts trying to step over, I can move with him until I can get a hold of that leg. So I keep that in there nice and tight. You can also do a few other things like pop him up and elevator sweep him if you get the, uh, the opportunity to. So once I get that foot in there, I'm going to really quickly isolate over here on his uh, ankle. And as I pull myself in, I'm going to switch into a very deep underhook. You want to get your bicep all the way underneath there, right next to his ankle where it meets, where his foot meets the ground, and you should be able to wave at yourself. Okay, that way you're using the full weight and strength of your, your shoulder and your bicep. Once I get that underhook, this leg is gonna slip through from up here on his, his upper thigh or his hip down and do an ouchi sort of motion where I hook the back of his leg, okay? Some people like doing it up here, Personally, I like down there because that's gonna make it easier to sweep that leg through as I'm pulling on the opposite one. So whenever I'm ready, we're gonna straighten the leg that's right here to get him a little bit off balance, and then I'm gonna pull on this arm and sweep on that arm, and then punch. We come right up, and then you switch through to a pin. One more time through. One more time. And that's the Kashi Mizaki. In this particular case, I'm still on my back, but the opponent has either managed to stand up, what we call a level change, he's now standing, or perhaps he executed a throwing technique, but he didn't follow me to the ground. And so now he's standing on his feet, hoping to pass my guard. So I'm gonna go ahead and start here on my back. And in this case, it's really, really important that I've got some control over my opponent. So I wanna be controlling his sleeve. And you have a choice with this other hand. You can take a standard sleeve and lapel grip here. This works great. Or it could be a two-on-one grip, whatever you like. Now I've got long legs, so I tend to, to utilize techniques that allow me to take advantage of that and then kind of use it against my opponent as much as possible. So for this particular sweep, it's really a, a variation of a much older judo technique, commonly called the Kashiwazaki sweep. This is a slight variation of that technique. Uh, we call it a waiter sweep, and I'll explain why in just a second. So, got my grips here and here. My left foot is gonna be on his hip. With my right leg, I like to execute a measure of control over this arm and shoulder. So what I'm gonna do is bring that foot up and place it on his bicep here and elbow to help me isolate that side of his body. It's not gonna stay there forever, but it allows me a little bit of control over him while I set the rest of the sweep up. So I'm here, with this two on one grip. I'm gonna use my right hand to cross grip and pull this arm over just a little bit. My left hand is now free. It's gonna dive all the way down. And my goal, if possible, is to put my elbow behind his heel. So I'm going to dive down and hook here. And this is why we call it a waiter sweep, because now it kind of resembles a waiter holding a tray of food he's carrying out to a table. So I hook here like that. Now, if you can't make that connection, you could grab here or here. But it is a little bit better if you actually get your elbow behind his heel. It's going to be very, very hard for him to kick that leg free with my elbow in place. That right foot that is controlling his arm is now gonna release 
and I'm going to place it right behind the leg on the same side. And this is a very important part of this technique. If I don't execute this piece, since a Derek can take his free leg and actually step backwards in a half circle, and now he's really starting to give me problems. He's going to probably pass my guard at this point. He's going to come in and pin me. So that leg is executing control over that side of his body through the whole technique. At first, it's controlling this. But later in the technique, we're going to drop it down and hook behind his knee. Now he can't take that step. So I'm going to pull with my elbow and push with my left foot. And I like to really use this sleeve grip like a rope. As he's falling, I'm going to be using it to go ahead and start helping me to climb up to go into a guard pass. So I'm not going to lay here until he hits the ground, but instead I'm going to start my ascent as soon as he starts his descent. So I push with my left foot, slice across his inner thigh, then she'll wipe the leg into side control. So let's see it again. So that's our variation of the Kashiwazaki sweep. We call it the waiter sweep. Hope you enjoy it.